pop culture news this week. Let's get into it. Let's start off with talking about actress Mandy Moore. She just had a baby, a baby boy to be specific. Um, people are going wild for this child's name because it's adorable and unique. I will get right to that in a second, but let's get a little bit of background first. Moore shared in like around September of last year via Instagram that she was pregnant and she just gave birth recently on the 23rd of February, so congratulations to her and her husband. The child's name is August Harrison Goldsmith. Isn't that adorable? I mean, just look at how cute this child is. Uh, Moore said that she, in an interview that she hopes to raise her child to be kind, respectful, loving, and compassionate, so we'll wish her luck with that. Let's move on to quickly talk about Taylor Swift, one of the biggest names in the American music industry right now. We've heard a lot of talk about her re-recording one of her old songs, Love Story, off of her Fearless album, which she did. She released it recently and fans are going wild for it. She has mentioned that she's re-recording her old music to take her power back from how she was treated when she was with Big Machine Records. Right now, she's under contract with Universal Music Group, and she signed around 2019, and when she signed with them, their, her contract with them states that she is in charge of the master recordings of her music, they belong to her, she has the copyright, so she gets to decide what happens with that music. So, pretty much every album before 2019's Lover does not belong to her, and every album since 2019's Lover belongs to her. Taylor is doing this because she hopes to take her power back from how she was treated when she was with BMR, and um, she's hoping that with the new music she releases, her fans will stop paying attention to her old music and start paying attention to her new music, aka the re-releases. I think it's wonderful because this sheds light on the past that she had and how a lot of artists are treated, but I say more power to you, Taylor. I'm so excited to hear her new music. I think it's going to be wonderful. In movie news, let's talk about the biggest movie to be released soon that will top every single versus style movie. Godzilla vs. Kong will be released on March 31st on HBO Max for viewers to enjoy. Fans and non-fans all over are having debates over who they think will win this epic battle of the century. A little storyline, Godzilla and King Kong are going to fight against each other while humanity tries to get rid of them to win the Earth back. Insane battle. It's going to be huge. I'm so excited. I have an idea of who I think is going to win. Feel free to stay in the poll uh, that will appear above me who you think is going to win this battle and feel free to fight it out in the comments on who you think is going to win and why you think they're going to win. This movie is going to be incredible and I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this segment. I hope we can keep this going. We'll see what happens. Um, and this has been Samantha with your weekly pop culture news report. The only news I want to pay attention to, but not the only news I should pay attention to. Have a good day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.